Project Xanarus. This is our first update for Project Xanarus since it being released in the Summer Summit. And you guys know I was very vocal about how I think Project Xanarus is a waste of dev time. And the, uh, like, the, the video Jimmy did with 8sat was mind-numbingly fucking long, obnoxious, and, and boring. And we knew where it was going in the first three minutes. We didn't need 18 more minutes of like weird pictures from people but you know we got to the point eventually project xanarus is here well for the first blog for it at least um so since the since the announcement the team has been working hard developing the core features of community servers want to involve you as much as possible as we move through development so we'll be releasing news posts like this one about once a month oh monthly posts to show off the new features we're working on We'll also have live streams, which I'm not going to waste my fucking time watching. And I don't care about the Discord. Oh, is this video worth watching, you reckon? What, what are we looking at here? An hour? <laughs> Anyways, uh, general progress. So, been working on two of the most important features. World creation screen and player lists. Sorry, my shit's crashing. The world creation system... Uh, sorry, the world creation screen is something anybody host will want to get familiar with. Okay, any budding host. Okay, after accessing Xanarus through the JX launcher, you'll arrive at the Project Xanarus portal, your hub for everything community service, where uh, whether you're playing or hosting, this is the place to be. Okay, all right, looks good. Looks like we're playing a, playing a game. This looks pretty nice, pretty clean. What do we got here? Worlds and my worlds. Details, game modes, rules. Okay, um, why is it in, what the fuck is this language? Tell us more about this it ferecha melezuta suspendese non ut plesrat bebendum toto volpat imprediat ante ting ting sit don't sit sit plesrat lorum in proin polente polentescu commodo nasetua venenaris venenaris I know that one solicit I don't know that word sorry I tried my best um but they're, they're summoning some sort of shit. Uh, world name description, yep, cool. Max player 500, region, Europe. All right, cool. Sounds good. How much is it gonna cost? That's the question. That's the thing you reported me for, it is true. Doesn't seem like this is much harder than normal reading for you today. Yes, you're right. Um, oh, here's another picture here, hold on. Image two. Right, okay. So rules, with the more, there's more like gibberish up the top here. Um, combat, misc, skills, world, character creation, leagues, five is the game mode, player damage taken, multiplier, up to 100,000%, player damage dealt, all damage lethal, reset characters on death, special attack regen rate, um, no gear degrade, no ammo use, reset inventory on death, special attack regen amount, and then XP loss on death, right, okay, so it looks like, it looks like there's a limited set of rules that they can obviously add on to, which isn't bad as long as they keep it updated and keep it diverse. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, for hosts, the world creation screen is where you'll fire up your own server and adjust its parameters. There'll be plenty of options to choose from, so each parameter is categorized so you can find exactly what you're looking for. You'll also be able to change your world settings after creation from the same screen. Playlists function similarly to your friends list in that you'll see a big list of people playing on the same server of you. As you saw, of course, you'll have uh, your familiar friends list. So no matter where or how you're playing, you can still message your friend, uh, your favorite people. So even if you're on a private server, you can still talk between the main game and the private servers. That's actually pretty nice. Seen lots of discussion around how you'd like to set up your world, whether you're limiting the skills people can train, setting everyone to Ultimate Iron Man. Thank you, Torbus. Welcome to the membership, mate. I appreciate that very much or any number of other crazy ideas. The character portion of the world creation screen will help you do all of this and more. Okay. This looks pretty straightforward, you know, set default skills, awesome. So you can make like, you know, PVP pure servers, host tournaments, that's great. Starting items, awesome. Looks good. You'll be able to set minimum, maximum levels of skills, Iron Man status, quest, achievement, direct completion, even unlock music tracks. You'll also have the option to let your players set these options themselves if you're brave enough. That's cool. So it's complete customization. All right. These options don't just affect your players, they change how the world works. Since it's spooky season, we thought we'd reveal some of the scarier options first. Okay. White bank and inventory on death. 
We want you to play exactly how you want your community servers, and if that means inflicting bank and inventory wipes on death, then so be it. This setting means that everything players have gathered will be gone permanently if they die. No reclaiming from the gravestones or death's coffer. Our initial pitch is that this should include all your items forever, although we're open to giving players the option to save some of the most valuable items from oblivion if requested. What's going on here, mate? Okay, bunch of third age. Yeah. Ten HP, dead. Loses all his cabbages. Yep, loses everything. Goes to the bank. Doesn't have the downstairs bank because he's a noob. Bank's empty. Cries. Cool. Yeah, uh, this is really gonna draw a lot of people away from the main game to the to the private servers. Yep. Um, good stuff. Lose XP on death, which was the worst part of Dead Man. What, what was, it wasn't Armageddon, it was something else. There was some dead man where you lost all your XP. Yeah, no one wants losing XP on death. That's some bullshit. Reset player save on death. Disable bank. Like, these are all, like, base... <laughs> disable gold and platinum. Pick, disable pick up ground items. Disable the use of uh, slot equipment. Basic gathering resources don't respawn after gathering. So once a tree's cut, it's cut. That's unironically the only good, like that. That's the coolest of these ones here. Making it so once the trees cut, it's cut. You just fucking, you just plow the whole fucking server, dude. That's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> okay, all right. So some nice, some nice options there, which all sound miserable and, and terrible to actually physically play for more than two days. So it feels like they're going to offer free servers, get people hooked, and then charge for server maintenance. No, nah, I don't think they'll offer free servers at all. And now they want to do a Microsoft Forms. We want to hear directly from you. The survey below gives you a chance to share your thoughts on Project Xamarin. Talk about options we've talked about today and share your ideas. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This kind of looks like dog shit. It, like I've, I mean, I've, I've always been in a negative mindset of Project Xamarin. So it, like, this doesn't help my fucking confidence in it at all. Um, they, these are terrible pitches. Yeah, would, would, would you not agree? Like why, like, why, you're pitching white bank and inventory on death and showing videos. I'll be honest with you. You didn't need to, like do this this is quite obvious stuff that you could do but who the fuck is gonna you could disable banking just play an ultimate iron man why would you do a private server like that the thing is right is people are gonna do this for for a couple weeks and as soon as a new raid comes out as soon as a new boss comes out as soon as there's a good money making method on in the main game you're gonna go back why the fuck would you permanently play this i can see it being good for um obviously events Content creators taking advantage of it, which is why where this idea came from originally, like the whole Gilnor games and the Swampletics and people wanting to lock themselves into that, and it made it easier. So Jagex is like, why don't we offer that to everyone? Right? Okay, cool. But it's not actually like like it's kind of it feels like a, like I, I feel like this is a bigger waste of time than people think sailing is. Is I'd rather than spend time on sailing. Because that's at least going to have some sort of impact on the main game. Then I know they'll have different teams set up, so like it's not going to stop the dev time. But like this just seems like a big, one of the biggest wastes of dev time going this far into it. But I'm not a dev. I don't fucking know. I just don't, like, these pitches are terrible. They're, they're not very like this is just you can have your own league now. Everyone gets bored of leagues after a few weeks unless they're competitively going for a number one spot. Um, I don't really want to do a survey because. I, a lot of my opinions are going to be negative and I don't like, I don't know how much surveys actually matter. Um, selling could disappear and not many people would ever notice. You're right. Yes, it's true. Do you have any idea what selling will do? Uh, I, at the moment we, we are waiting for a beta still, so we won't dive into selling at the moment. Um, I, I, I just think this is quite a, quite an L, like the, the people who are really dedicated to this aren't thinking critically about like how, how shit it's going to be. Content creators are going to use it for events and stuff clans will use it for events too don't get me wrong uh, there are little fun niches you can set up we could set up little events right um but at the end of the day unless you like unless there's something really beneficial for it pvp is a, you can have some pvp service set up so people that actively just want to fight and be pures and like you know you only have the wilderness available everyone's stats are the same uh there's different gear setups you can choose and you can just go out there and just keep fighting cunts all day long that's great until it gets to the point that you're not building any sort of 
renown, any sort of status. It's just you're going in, you're getting kills, you've got a high KD, and then one day some guy stops paying for the server and it shuts. Or you realize that this is cool, but you're not making money from it now in the main game, so you want to go back, you know? It would get very stale, as it always does. And people try to be like, it's just like Rust. The difference is Rust is fundamentally built on custom servers and gameplays, where RuneScape is absolutely fucking not, which is why this is like why this doesn't fucking make any sense right how like it's just it's silly in my opinion how, how popular are dead man worlds right now Where, where's where's dead man let's have a look we have a dead man world that's a pvp world which one's dead man it's the red the red hollow star right is there even a dead man world at the moment don't they have like a permanent dead man world somewhere Thirty-eight people. There are thirty-eight people on Dead Man World at the moment. I know Dead Man's not the end all be on, but like fucking come on. If it, if it was if people really wanted it and really wanted to fucking have the game on steroids, there'd be more fucking people on there. Remember people loving Darkscape? A lot of the reason people play private servers is because they're banned from the main RuneScape game and don't want to rebuild their stuff. They want to speed run back up. But at the end of the day, private RuneScape servers are just there to steal your money, charge you money for ridiculous in-game items, and can get shut down at any time. They've got your credit card info. I don't know how much of it they actually have. I don't know the security sides of things, but do you really trust a private server that's asking you for like $8 to buy gold Darok? Like, I wouldn't fucking touch that. Speedrunning world, so your speed speedrunning quest worlds were, were just a terrible idea. Um, well, not well, yeah. They were, they were just another. It's another idea that, like this, just a wasted wasted private server. This this isn't. This is going to be big for like a, a week or two. It is going to drop off and be dead very soon. I fucking call it. I, I called it when it came out in the summer summit, and um, I I I don't think I don't think the devs are are not. It's hard to say. The devs do a good job at developing RuneScape, but there has been a lot lately in this game where the devs are just kind of like fucking... They're getting two forks out of the kitchen, putting the prongs together, and then looking for that small gap, and then that's what they're doing with their development. That's their fucking tunnel vision, and they're just fucking slapping away on the keyboard to come up with shit like this. You know? Like, I, 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 don't, I don't understand half the fucking things that come to the game at the moment. It really is silly. A few content creators make great use of it. Yeah, and that's not going to be enough because content creators, believe it or not, aren't actually as big and as impactful as they fucking think they are in, in RuneScape. They're, they're fucking delusional. So, um... This is, this is, in my opinion, L. I, I'm not looking forward to this. I will not be voting for it. I will act genuinely no vote this shit um, if they vote it. Um... It, it, it'll come to the game. It won't negatively impact RuneScape. People aren't going to permanently move to Community Wars. They'll go back. This will be used for niche purposes. We will use it for niche purposes, but I'll be very, very fucking shocked and surprised if it has any, like, influence on the main game. There's a survey at the bottom. Yeah, the survey is just for um, player feedback. It's not actually anything else. I don't know if I want to really waste my time with a fucking survey because it's mostly going to be, no, this is shit. Like, I'm completely up to date, yes. Um... What sources have you gathered information? Xanarus fact? Yeah, sure, let's just tick all this. Um, social media platforms, yeah, yeah, uh, yes. Yes, pitching, yep, yep. Content creator, yep. Sure, has the most recent news post provided you with more information? I feel more informed. Not excited. Are you feeling, how are you feeling? How are your feelings towards Project Xanarus change with the news post? No. Will you be playing Community Worlds? Maybe. How will you be playing how will you be playing the community worlds when Project Xanarus launches? I'm unlikely to check out community worlds until other features are released. I will check out some worlds. Don't expect to play on them consistently. How likely are you to purchase a server? Extremely fucking unlikely. That's a tax write-off though. Somewhat unlikely. Uh, what are you looking to gain from the community worlds? Other. Um, hmm, hold on. What are the options? A way to get me playing old school again. A fun experience to coexist. Create. What am I looking to gain from community worlds? Uh, if anything, it'd be unique ways to create video content. Like, it'd be great to, like, get different sceneries and shit, but that's about it. But the HD client will do everything I want. 
Doesn't come with a map editor. It's kind of DOA. It'd be good if it did come with a ma map editor, actually. It won't be voted on as it's separate to the main game. Good point. I haven't thought about it like this before, but if you played Halo 3 in the past and people would forge and could make their own mini games, if Xenoris could provide a small play, uh, playground, it would be fun for, uh, fun for free. Yes, true. Um, that relies on people doing that. I'm sure there will be some fun mini games, but given, given this information here, like the way that it looks like you can create your own custom worlds, I'm not sure how players are going to go about making their own mini games when like this is the sort of customization you have it doesn't look like you're building a world it looks like you're just changing how the world works i don't know how how much that helps but we don't know what are in the missed skills of world and, and character creation tabs but you're not physically it's not a world builder like someone said um a map editor you know it's it's not that it's just oops i just alt f forward which is what that whole fucking post deserves that was an actual an actual accident but I, 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 I'm, I, I'm not for Project Generous, personally. I don't think it's good. I think there are perks to it, of course, but I don't think the perks are, are good enough for me to want to waste my fucking time playing it. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, god damn! Fuck me, look at that boy. It's huge! You got a big boy.